Saint Pope Boniface I was the 42nd Pope who became one of the most controversial for the contested nature of his election as the Bishop of Rome. His feast day is commemorated every October 25th. Very little is known about the life of Boniface before his election as Pope. According to the Liber Pontificalis, he was called a Roman and the son of the Presbyter Jocundus. He was ordained by Pope Damasus I and served as the representative of Pope Innocent I at Constantinople. On the day of Pope Zosimus's funeral, supporters of Archdeacon Eulalius occupied the Lateran until he arrived later that day and then was elected the Bishop of Rome. They remained at the church until December 29th, a Sunday, when the formal ordination customarily takes place. During the same time, on the Saturday after the funeral, the majority of the priests of the church elected Boniface. He was consecrated on December 29th at the Church of St. Marcellus in the Campus Martius. By Rome's prefect's suggestion that Eulalius was elected first, Emperor Honorius recognized Eulalius as the rightful Bishop of Rome. However, despite this decision, violence broke out between the two groups of supporters. Boniface sent a petition to Emperor Honorius alleging irregularities in the election of Eulalius. The Emperor suspended his previous order and deferred the decision to a synod scheduled to meet at Spoleto, then commanded both Boniface and Eulalius to stay out of Rome. However, Eulalius defied the Emperor's order and entered Rome on March 18, an Easter Sunday. The proposed council of Spoleto was cancelled, and on April 3, 419, Emperor Honorius recognized Boniface as the rightful Pope. During Pope Boniface's pontificate, he made many changes within the Church. Some of these include the singing of the Gloria in Excelsis on Maundy Thursday and regulated several points of Church discipline. He also reversed some of his predecessors' policies regarding Church administration. Boniface supported Augustine in combating Pelagianism, forwarding to him two Pelagian letters Boniface had received calumniating Augustine. In recognition of this solicitude, Augustine dedicated to Boniface his rejoinder contained in Contra Duas Epistolas Pelagianaru and Libri Quichuol. He persuaded Emperor Theodosius II to return Illyricum to Western jurisdiction and defended the rights of the Holy See. He also made controversial decisions, such as reducing the vicariate authority giving Patroclus, then the Bishop of Arles, jurisdiction over other Gallic sees, and restoring the metropolitan powers of the chief bishops of provinces. He supported Hilary, Archbishop of Narbonne, in his choice of a bishop of the vacant see of Lodave, against Patroclus, who tried to install someone else. He also insisted that Maximus, Bishop of Valence, should be tried for his alleged crimes, not by a primate, but by a synod of the bishops of Gaul, and promised to sustain their decision. Pope Boniface I died on September 4, 422, in Rome. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.